How's it going guys? It's time for another video and today is a very special video. As you can see here, Xbox One S. Oh, I'm so excited. Before we get any further, if this is your first time watching, be sure to subscribe and like the video if you like Xbox. If you don't like Xbox, like the video anyway. Anyway, this is exciting. I haven't, a little backstory, I actually haven't had an Xbox in like for two weeks because I sold my Xbox One to get this. And so I'm really excited. Uh, I think I'm just gonna die. But let's not waste any more time. Let's get into the unboxing. Let's unbox the sucker. But we need a very sharp knife. This is, the seal hasn't been broken. This is a true unboxing. I didn't open it up and then say I'm gonna open it up again. This is, this is fresh. We're gonna break that seal. Also kids, knife safety. Don't use knives. Use like, I don't know, scissors or your teeth or something like that. Anyway, let's open it up, get inside. Oh, first thing I see is this, unless I opened it up upside down. Instructions, instructions. But who needs instructions, right? All right, so let's save the console for a bit later. So we have a box. What's inside of this box? Okay, so the big thing people didn't like about the Xbox One is the power brick. Here's your power, oh, this is the HDMI cord. I said it was, I was gonna say this is the power cord, but the power cord is actually right here. Um, no more power brick. The power supply is inside the console. That's awesome. Um, yes, and this is a 4K rated HDMI cable, of course. And now we have the Xbox One S, the new Xbox wireless controller. Oh man, this is gonna be so pretty. I'm having a hard time here, I'm so excited. Uh, we got some AA batteries in there, but here it is, Xbox uh, wireless controller, the new one. It's uh, now in white, of course. It has Bluetooth built in, so you can connect it to your other devices. Uh, and it has increased wireless range um, it, when, when you use it with the Xbox One S. And it has this new textured grip, which I, I tried this before and I didn't like it, but now I'm feeling it's on an actual final design and it's, it's really sick. I love it. And I always wanted a white Xbox One controller, um, but they never actually sold them. And so now I have one. I'm really excited about this. Oh man. All right. I don't think there's anything else in the box besides the consoles. Oh, there is two more things. Sorry. I have to tease you a bit more. All right. So we have a code for um, uh, 14 days of Xbox Live. If you can see it, I don't know if you can see it, but if you can see it, you can have it. Um, if you want to pause, I don't know if you can see it. But anyway, that's that. And then with the two terabyte launch edition of the console, you get the vertical stand. Uh, obviously, uh, you don't, this is a console that could stand on its own, but uh, if you stand it without the stand, it uh, blocks ventilation. And so this allows it to uh, breathe and be vertical because a lot of people like that about the Xbox 360. And so now you can do that. And that's it. There's more paperwork in there, but let's get into the actual console, what you all came, came for. Here it is, the Xbox One S. Oh, I can't, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to play Halo again. It's been a rough two weeks. That sound is terrifying. I fucking hate that sound. Um, but here it is, Xbox One S. Man, 40% smaller. HDR gaming, which is high dynamic range. If you have a TV that can support it, it's going to be a, a more, uh, a wide range between white and black and deeper and richer colors. Um, what else? It has built-in IR blaster. Uh, it's just amazing, super awesome looking console. It plays 4K Blu-rays and 4K streaming is enabled with this. Um, and that matches the brand new Xbox dashboard that just went out. Um, USB is now on the front of the console. USB is now on the front of the console. Um, if you take a look at the back, we have the power cable. This is a standard power uh, cable port. So if you lose this, uh, your power cable for whatever reason or if it stops working, you can just buy a regular one. HDMI out, HDMI in, uh, two USBs on the back, IR out, SPDIF for optical audio, and an Ethernet cable. Um, this console is so sexy, so much sexier than the old console. It just looks amazing. Just, just look at it. Oh, it's upside down. But now, just look at it, right? It's just an amazing console. So you have the uh, disc tray button, eject disc, and the new power button, which is now a physical power button. Uh, so no more animals or children brushing up against it. But yeah, I'm, I'm so excited about this console uh, and the sticker is staying on. Now, a lot of people are asking who this console is for, and that's a very good question. So the Xbox One S, now hold it up while we do this. The Xbox One S, um, is not meant to run games faster, but a lot of reviews have been coming out saying that it offers a marginal increase in power. 
Um, so if you haven't jumped in, this is the console that you're going to want to get. It's three, uh, $399 for the 2 terabyte launch edition, it's $349 for the 1 terabyte edition, and 500 gigabytes for the or $300 for the 500 gigabyte model. Those will be out later in August, um, and they actually come with games in the bundle. Um, but yeah. So this is gonna offer you just HDR gaming, which is gonna make the games look better, but it's not gonna, it's not made to perform game, to play games better. It probably will, like the review said, but um, that's about it. And um, so a lot of people said, why would I get this when uh, Microsoft announced Project Scorpio, the new souped up Xbox One coming next holiday? Um, and that's a great question. A lot of people are upset with Microsoft about it, but the way I see it, and I think it's a great idea, Microsoft gave you the option. They, they said, if you have an Xbox One, you can upgrade to this if you want the smaller factor, if you want the HDR gaming, if you want the 4K video playback, um, or you can hold on to your Xbox One. Um, but if you, the way I see it is that if a company tells you, hey, we have a, a product coming later that's better than this, but we also have this awesome product. It gives gamers the choice, and I think that's just an awesome thing that they did, and I cannot wait to plug this in. And uh, yeah, I, just off the looks alone, I'm giving this a 10 out of 10, because uh, I think it's awesome. Anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If this is your first time watching, be sure to subscribe and hit the like button, and leave a comment in the comment section below of why Xbox is the best ever in the history of the world. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Peace.